What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Coda, come on, help me out here. Coda. Coda. All right, Coop, you wanna do it? Super Cooper Sunday! What's up, buddy? Oh my goodness, you're gonna go and lay down? Well, that's actually kind of a perfect way to start this episode. Coda, I know that you're feeling kind of tired today, I can tell from that intro, but I promise you this is gonna be one of your favorite episodes that we have done in a very long time. So what's up guys and welcome back. Today is gonna be a very exciting day, or actually, I guess less exciting. So interesting enough, this doesn't happen often. We are starting this episode at the end of the day. You guys can see the sun is going down. We've got kind of like some, some cotton candy going on over there. Sunset's actually in about the next 20 minutes or so. And uh, the reason for that is we wanted to enjoy the slightly cooler weather outside. So it was around 80 degrees today. It's gonna get down to around 65 tonight, and that's gonna be perfect because Chels, what are we doing? We are going camping. We are camping, Coop. Are you excited for this? Oh my goodness, buddy. This is gonna be so much fun. Coda, camping. I promise you are gonna love what's in these boxes. I bought it specifically for the camping episode. Cooper is already working on opening it up. Good job, buddy. So you guys know recently we got the trampoline. We did a trampoline episode. We did a water park trampoline episode. And I, I think this is probably gonna be our last trampoline episode. Basically, as I teased a couple of weeks ago, we got this clubhouse thing. So this is like a giant tent that goes over the poles of the net of the trampoline. Get it, Coop. Get it. Get it. It's gonna turn it into a, a cool little clubhouse. So we're gonna try this out. We've always wanted to. Uh, we've always wanted to take these guys camping, like legit camping and a tent type camping. But we were never sure how they were gonna do. So this is gonna be kind of like a little trial run. We'll obviously be at home if it goes wrong. We can just come back inside. But uh, yeah, it's um, it should be pretty good. Get it, Coop. Get it. Nice job. Oh, that's. Oh yeah. I'll help you out. Tear it. Good boy. We've got it. We've got it open. Nice job. Coop, 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 don't eat that part. Don't eat that part. That's the part that's gonna like, if it rains tonight, there's a 20% chance it's gonna protect us from the rain. Coop is trying to figure out the best access point. All right, Coop. She's getting a knife, buddy. You don't, you don't need, you, you don't, don't need to do that, buddy. You don't need to tear it open. On <laughs> so if we open this up, we have, one oversized queen microfiber comforter because we need to make sure we're comfy. We also have some hanging camping lights. Oh, I was nice. thinking we might be able to like hang these on the net. I don't know. Obviously, we're going to have to pretty much film this episode in the dark. I mean, doing it in the daytime would have been too hot. So we'll, we'll see how it works out. Hopefully, we can figure out a, uh, a solution. But uh, let's get in. Come on, Coop. Get it. Good boy. It looks like we've got another oversized queen comforter. I actually... I. I thought I only ordered two, but I guess I ordered three. All right, so we've got three comforters. We've got the camping lights. Chels, what's in the extra room that we've been saving forever? Pillows. You guys know we've had these pillows for forever. We went to Target one time and we bought like 30 of them. So I'm gonna grab all of these pillows out. Chels, are you ready? Let's go, let's, let's put this tent on. All right, girl, good stuff. That was pretty easy. Yeah, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be, actually. How confident are you feeling? You ready to spend a night in this thing? So we've got kind of a double zipper situation here. If the bugs are bad, we can close both. Otherwise, we can leave this part open. We've got three windows in here to get a nice little breeze. Like I said, I think it's supposed to be like 65 degrees or so tonight, so it should be decent. It should be relatively cool. And uh, I'm ready. What do you think, girl? Should we get the comfort in here? Let's do it. Let's get the, the blankets and pillows and everything. Currently working by cell phone light, trying to set up our uh, little lights here. Oh, fancy. Okay. Oh, there's a, okay. Can you tell us a ghost story? Put it under your chin and tell us a ghost story. Oh, that looks a little creepy. Whoa, we're gonna have a rave. Uh, no. Babe, this actually, this turned out pretty cool, but there's one thing that we've gotta do. Why? You gotta do it, come on, it's fun. Nice. Oh. I love how you like got ready for that, like it was gonna hurt or something. We're on a trampoline. 
covered in blankets and pillows. All right, this actually turned out really, really cool. By the way, excuse the sweatiness. I know I'm really sweaty. Are you feeling a little sweaty yet? I, yeah, it's very humid out here. I'm not hot, but I'm sweating. It's weird. This is literally like the best time of the year for us to be able to do this too. So hopefully we're going to be able to survive. We probably should have got some like fans or something. I actually think I might have a fan. Speaking of, I thought ahead. So obviously we aren't just going to sit out here and do nothing for the next like, I don't know, 10 hours or so. Yeah, so uh, check this out. I brought us a little power extender thing. Got an extension cord coming from the garage and I tied it up right here. So we're going to be able to like plug in our laptops, watch some Netflix and chill on the trampoline. You know what I mean? Maybe Cooper can watch some like Star Wars or some animals or something. Exactly. It's going to be fun. So speaking of Cooper, you want to go get him? All right. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Oh, Pio. Good boy. What do you think? What's in here? Pretty nice, huh? Is it going to be really comfy and oh, fun to hang out? Okay, he kissed us. He is checking every pillow yes, out. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay, that one's yours now. He low-key kind of loves it, I think. This happens literally every episode that we have to go in the front yard or like walk to the truck or anything. He just always goes literally inside this bush. What's up, buddy? Good boy. All right, we're going to join you in a second. Don't worry. Teamwork makes the dream work, buddy. Good boy. What do you think? It's pretty nice in there, huh? See, I told you you're going to like this episode. He's not really sure what to make of it, but I think you might like it. <laughs> the benefit to a test run front yard camping session is that we have access to all of modern delicacies, like <laughs> water. <laughs> Check a little bit too fast, buddy. Good boy. Don't be too crazy. It's not going anywhere. We've got plenty more where that came from. So if you guys can't tell, I think the heat is our biggest turtle right now. It's not really that hot. It's just humid. Florida is, is humid. Oh, look at this sharing. You'll love to see it here. If I put it down here, is that okay? It's just a little bit humid. So we're gonna have to make sure we keep an eye on them. Yeah. Make sure we keep the water flowing. We're gonna have to take a few bathroom breaks too. All right, look at this. Everybody's settled, kind of enjoying it a little bit, if I do say so myself. So obviously water's a big thing and we're gonna have to take some extra bathroom breaks. But food, what are we gonna do about food? I saw you perk up there, little buddy. Could be one dinner. I want dinner too. I'm kind of starting to get a little bit hungry, but I think we're going to wait a little bit. So originally we were going to do this in the backyard, but we didn't want to tear the whole trampoline down and then build it back up back there. And the backyard's kind of slanted towards the lake, so I don't think it would have been comfortable. Uh, originally we were going to like light up the grill back there or a little fire pit or something. Obviously that's not going to work in the front yard, but I think, uh, you know, the, the modern camping in us has a pretty good idea. So you guys should see that soon. But I think we're just gonna kinda get settled down. I'm gonna grab the computer and um, let's just kinda hunker into our first hour of the night. This is just a small update. Coda's been over there sleeping and Koopy just laid his head down. And he's sleeping too. Like Can you see what he's doing right now? He is so, he's burrowed himself down into the pillows. <laughs> good boy. Kota, you're really good too. It's just, this is kind of what we expected out of you. So it's less special. <laughs> we are currently watching a cooking show. We've been kind of obsessed with it lately. It's on Netflix. I think it's called like The Final Table or something like that. So we're gonna finish up the first season probably end up watching something else. I don't know. We'll give you guys a little update here in like a couple of hours or so. I think there is a Magic Lakers game on tonight. So yeah, I think I we're going to watch that. that. Yeah. So we got to at least stay up to like 1030 and then stay up to watch the end of that. So we'll give you guys a couple updates throughout the night, but um, everything seems to be going well. A few moments later. It's nearly 10 p.m. Both boys are currently up and raring to go. Our neighbor is outside and he was talking to one of his friends and they both got up and acted like the world was ending and like they were gonna kill somebody. So, I thought Koda was gonna go through the screen. at least we know that we are very safe. He is still looking over towards Rami's house right now. <laughs> you're so, you're so tough, Koda. <laughs> Something's happening. What are you thinking of for? 
Is he trying to hide? I think he might have been. He's trying to hide. <laughs> he's trying to hide under the blanket. <laughs> Meanwhile, Koda's trying to get out of here and go take him down. Koda. Hey, Koda. We zipped it up. You can't get out. More moments later. So one of the benefits of urban camping is that you can order food delivery, which is what we did. We've got McDonald's chicken nuggets as a nice little snack for these guys. Oh, Koda smelled it. He caught us oh, like I smell this boys. What do you think? <laughs> okay. okay. Wait nicely. Wait your turns. Wait your turns. Ooh, I have two French fries. One for each boy. Stay. Stay. Good boy. You take that one. You take that one. All right, there's more where that came from. In case you guys are wondering, we got two 10 piece nuggets, which we're gonna share one and we're gonna give them like probably not the full other one, but probably a couple of nuggets each. We'll give them a couple of fries and then they're actually gonna get their real dinner. But we wanted to make it kind of a, a fun little surprise for them here. Fun little treat, so. It's Coke, dogs don't drink soda. <laughs> they both just like to cough, that's nasty. You know, I, I think this camping thing is going all right. I would venture to say that we're kind of killing it here. And Look, I'm gonna do this too. <laughs> Don't let them drool all in it. That's disgusting. Come on, <laughs> could, we, could we try to get one? Good boy, could be. He was just biting. It. Oh. <laughs> okay, Wait, all right. <laughs> oh, Koopy's ready for this. He's readjusting to get a better look. Stop! Stop! Oh, that stop. is the key. They like the French fries, but they both like the smell of that a lot better. Coda, be. Be, uh, uh, be nice. You're supposed to be nice. Here, you have a piece here too. Good boy. Be nice. Be good boy. All right, not too bad. And I think, at least until it's bedtime, this is what the rest of our night is gonna look like. Which is not much different from a normal night. All right, you got Koopy over there snuggled up against you. Koda is over here, still watching and looking for people walking by the house. And we're gonna enjoy this Magic Lakers game, which the Magic are currently up by six, which is really, really exciting. We'll see if they can hold on to that. Something tells me they probably won't. So we're probably just gonna hang out for a bit. If anything interesting happens, we'll pick the camera back up, but um, we'll definitely at least check back in with you guys before bedtime. For you basketball fans out there, just a little update. This is insane. The Lakers have not scored since the beginning of the second quarter, and it feels so good. Oh, that is crazy. Koda, would you like to offer your thoughts on the situation? Good job by the magic, you're right. 12 o'clock midnight. Cooper, come on. Coop, come. Cooper, come on. You gotta go potty. We're gonna get ready for bed. Good boy. So there's still like a quarter and a half left, but uh, since it's a West Coast game, it's really late here. It's past midnight, so we're both kind of tired. I started to doze off a little bit. We already brought Coda potty. And Coop, are you done? Are you sure you're done? Because there's not going to be another potty until we wake up in the morning, all right? Are you sure you're done? All right, I'm trusting you. Probably stay up for a little bit longer and watch the game. But to be honest, I think Chelsea and I are both tired. Hold on, I need a phone light for this. Look at these two cuties, butt to butt, just hanging out. Good boys. I think this is where we call it a night. If anything wakes us up in the middle of the night or anything interesting happens, we will be sure to let you guys know. But uh, to be honest, I think we're all pretty tired and I expect us to, to sleep through. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So good stuff so far, Chels. We will catch you guys in the morning. See you there. Well, good morning. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. we, we made it. We survived the night. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so hot in here right now. So we just had to search around the trampoline. The camera was lost in all the pillows. It took us a minute to find it. But uh, this is pretty much what last night looked like. You guys can see we added a blanket in the middle of the night because Chelsea was feeling a little cold. Koopy was feeling a little clingy all night. He was on top of us. And Koda is still just content. No accidents. No whining, no crying, no nothing. Just, just existing in a state of bliss. Yeah. All together outside. <laughs> there were a couple of uh, like car door slams that kind of got like little little mini barks throughout the night, but honestly, nothing too crazy. Like nobody really ever got up or anything. So overall, it was a a pretty solid night. It is really hot in here right now, though. 
feels like, good. It's, it's gone up like 10 or 20 degrees. In case any of you guys are NBA fans, the Magic did end up winning by one, but no, we did not make it through the entire game. We fell asleep in the third quarter, so we slept for a good like eight, eight and a half hours. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty relaxed, and I don't know, I would venture to say that especially with the, the nice modern amenities that driveway camping comes with, aka Uber Eats and Wi-Fi and yeah. electric cords, I think we can go camping. I also think it'd be kind of fun to actually go camping, you know, like in an actual tent somewhere. It would be fun, but it would be hard. It would be hard, especially here in Florida. It would be a camper where we can like lock them in with AC. Ooh, see, that's not a bad idea. Or at least going up like, I don't know, North Carolina or something like yeah. that, where it's a little bit more chilly. I'm not gonna lie, like I, I kind of struggled a bit last night. It was just, it was very humid. I'm somebody who likes to have the, the AC on like 65. So, um, there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode i'm not sure how the footage turned out but i think we had some decent lighting in here hopefully we did otherwise the entire thing's a wash and you guys never even saw this but uh thank you guys so much for watching coop you did a good job i would venture to say you could probably go camping i would i would trust you to be able to chels good stuff the mother of all dogs here in the middle of the trampoline on my entire shoulder and arm <laughs> there's a lot happening here Look at all this fluff. Coda, how are you feeling? You feeling pretty relaxed? Looks like it, dude. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace out.